Hello, this is Mike, NoStressMike.com. Uh, I want to talk about uh, combat. The physical ground that you will be doing your combat on. Okay, uh, I'm going to start with making it very, very simple. Uh, applying it to a one-on-one -on -one type situation. Uh, in other words, right now you see this is concrete, flat concrete. Uh, flat concrete, very stable for, foot, for your footwork. So this is what you want when you are fighting. You want stable ground to fight on. Uh, concrete is good uh, because it's totally stable. Okay, now, if I knew I was getting ready to do some fighting on this particular spot, I would make a line right here on the ground and I would put gravel or sand over here. Gravel or sand. And then I would be maybe three foot from it. That's where I draw the line. In other words, uh, my attacker has got unstable ground when he's coming to me. So in other words, the, the gravel or sand or whatever will make it loose. He won't have good footing. That is what I would want. I say this is the basic. This is the basic. Okay. You use that same principle on all aspects of uh, your uh, the area that you are protecting. Whether it's like what we just said, a one-on-one -on -one basis, or if I'm uh, uh, if I'm going to fight an army and I have an army, uh, we'll go to the other extreme. Uh, you hear me talk about the three-man militia. Uh, the borders around me will be unstable. Unstable. The ground around me will be unstable. This is why you would want like a, uh, a river. You know, like a, uh, like a river would fork and you would be in the middle of that fork on the ground. That ground is stable. The water is very unstable. So it's hard for them to cross the water to be an effective fight, fighting force when they're in the water. And you can rip them apart while they're in the water. So this is uh, one extreme. Uh, another would be a cliff like this. Uh, this would be the border. They would have to climb the cliff to attack me in which we can take care of them down on the cliff. Uh, so in other words, these are very unstable grounds. This is what you really want. Uh, and, but if you can't get that, if it's on a dirt area, you're on a big dirt area, uh, what you do, your area will be dry dirt. The attacker around you, it'd be nice if you could run some water out there on that dirt. That'll make it muddy. So in other words, they have to cross the muddy area to get to you. Uh, making that ground unstable. Any way possible for you to make it unstable would be the way to do it. You hear me talk about uh, using gasoline. That's one of these uh, uh, tactics that work 100% of the time. Along with a lot of this other stuff, I mean, it's, it really works. A cliff, you know, a river, uh, it really uh, weakens your attacker. And gasoline would. So in other words, if you're coming at me and you're saying, boy, look, we got a big clear area and they're over there and I'm going to go over there and I'm going to get them, uh, you're probably going to be facing fire. And uh, in other words, I will have it set up where I can electronically set off this fire, flames. Uh, 
people don't fight well when they're burning. So, uh, in other words, uh, some way or another be able to set the place on fire. So, in other words, if they see me in a big old fight field, good, I'm going to go over there and I'm going to kick his ass. And then while they're going over there, you can bring your whole army. And when that sucker sets on fire, it doesn't make any difference. So, uh, that's another extreme in uh, unstable ground. It looks like it's stable, but it's not. And it'll be the same thing if you're, if you're in a, like a valley and you're able to push rocks down on them. Uh, the same thing. It's, it's, you're making the ground that they've got to cross to get to you, to make contact, is unstable and it's not, it's not safe. And in some ways, like the gasoline, it's, it's, it's a weapon. It's, it's, you're just, it's downright dangerous. You cannot get through that. That's, the, that's what I'm talking about when I'm saying look at the ground that you're going to be, that you're going to be uh, fighting on. And, uh, and if you also keep up with my three-man militia stuff, I'm not set up for any losses at all. I don't want to lose anybody. So in other words, once, if you come in to get me, my idea is we will not die. We will not be harmed. You will be destroyed and hurt major. So uh, when you're setting up any kind of a position, it'd be the same thing. Uh, if it's, like I say, you, you got a, a gang, uh, you know, four, five, six guys going to come get you. Same thing. Put it in an area where they are unstable. And even if it's gravel and you're on the gravel, you will still have a better chance because you won't be moving. You're going to be staying still. They are going to be on unstable ground as they're coming to get you. Their strikes are going to be weaker and slower because their footwork will be looser. So uh, look at the ground on any conditions that you're going to try to defend. The groundwork has to be done. It's a major part of staying safe. Not only gasoline, but look for other alternatives that you can use to make it really bad. Uh, you can use uh, propane. You can have uh, propane lines put out there and uh, be able to turn a valve and, and kick that sucker and get your fire that way, like a flamethrower. Uh, so, uh, and you'll have, kind of have brush out there. Things that they think they can hide behind is really things that are going to be burning. So uh, you can do that along with tires. So the, the smoke, you'll have the black smoke and thick black smoke. If they can't see, it's hard for them to get around. You can have, uh, like I say, holes in this ground and cover it all. And then, like I say, there'll be holes. They'll be tripping in the holes. They'll be falling in the holes. If you want to get real ugly, you can put spikes inside the holes. Uh, there's many things you can do to make the combat ground in your favor. Think about it. This is Mike, no stress Mike.com.